Next, the thing we want to do is to create this pattern of holes that are going to allow us to attach the axle support bracket onto the main part of the chassis. So if we go back to our part, what we need to realise now is some things about how the tree works. So I've got the mirror function sitting below this pad. If I turn off the mirror, the mirrored part will disappear and any new pockets or pads that I put on will um, be automatically um, mirrored when I turn the mirror on and I'll show you what I mean. So in order to turn the mirror off what I must do is go up to the next branch on the tree above it and right click and define that as the inwork object and you'll notice that the white line is now underneath the pad and rather than the pocket and of course the mirror is turned off. So what we're going to do is choose the pocket function, choose our sketch icon, back to the XY and what I want to do is simply draw a rectangle of any particular size just up here. Now we need to dimension it but we also need to position it. So I choose that side there and that one's going to be three millimeters thick because that's the thickness of the material that goes into it. This dimension here you may remember from the drawings we want that to be 10 millimeters and Finally, we need to decide, um, so the size of this box is now controlled, but the position of it is not. So what I want to do is, I just want to position this thing as best I can. So what I want to do is I'm going to choose that there. I'm going to hold down control and grab that plane, and I'm going to position that exactly 10 millimeters from the YZ plane. And the other thing, so now, if I grab this, I can move it up and down, but I can't move it left and right. So the last thing I need to do to position it properly is to choose that, hold down control and grab the second one. I go here, and I'm now going to give that a number also. So I'm going to make that one 37. And then when we exit out of the workbench we just need to make sure we get that pocket going in the right direction so we can reverse that preview it if we like and there we go so of course if we can now turn on the mirror we have an identical one on the other side so I define that as the inwork object the next thing I want to do is I want to make I want to use our pattern tool so we choose the pocket we're going to use the grid or rectangular pattern and we're going to have four instances of that and we are going to choose a reference element of this and we're going to make the total distance 30 millimeters apart so if we look at that now now of course this is my design you should feel free and in fact I would encourage you to come up with your own design so of course now if I turn on the mirror there we have our replicated side